soon as he's done with that mine, I'll assign somebody to it and have him start working on the next level of Town Hall. Which is going to take a lot. I know the fourth level takes like fucking 70 bookshelves. <clears throat> So it's not an easy task. Our little chicken pit, though, has just been doing work. We've got so many eggs. Stacks on stacks on stacks. And our entire wheat field is fully grown with our little farmer just standing here being totally fucking useless with his thumb in his bum. I wish there was a way to make him harvest. There doesn't seem to be, though. <clears throat> it can't be that difficult, though, if they made her able to harvest and replant. He should be able to do it. Because she harvests and replants. She tears down trees and then plants them back and then tears them down and plants them back. Like, so I don't understand why he can't harvest. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, they've got, they've got to be putting that in. It's just not in yet, but shit. I'd like it to be. <laughs> going to tear this back a little bit. Jesus, <laughs> they just keep multiplying. They're like fucking cockroaches. Just go away. <laughs> God, these things are so dumb. There's another one. There's a surprise. And another one. Should we just rename this to the fucking... Check it, fucking Slayer Simulator. <laughs> fucking things. Eventually, this is going to be where we put our uh, <coughs> water mill. So it's going to have to flow down the side, all the way down to here, around the fisherman's hut. And eventually, we're going to fix all this shit down here. There's just so much to do on our own, and everybody who keeps coming in wants to go to another place, so. We lost Cog, and we lost Earl. No one wants to be in my town. My town must be smelly. It's a sort of smelly smell that smells smelly. Anchovies. <laughs> That's not at all the one that I meant to open. <laughs> That's what I meant to open.
You're good, dude. Take all that stuff. Wait, don't leave yet. Come back. <laughs> Take this shit, too. Drop all of our bags off. We got too many of these motherfuckers. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. Not doing that. No blood moon. No blood moon today. Not doing that shit. No, sir, Mr. Lychee. <laughs> yep. We just lived through a blood moon. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> we just made it through one. I do not feel like having to go through another one. That's like. It was like Blood Moon, and then not Blood Moon, and then Blood Moon. Yeah! <laughs> Big time cheating. Fuck that. If that did, if it did that and there were other people logged into the server, I would do the same thing. Just because I wouldn't want them to suffer through two Blood Moons, like one right after another. I didn't put that in here with the intended purpose of it doing that. I put it in here with the intended purpose of making, like, every week or so more difficult. Not every fucking night. <laughs> It's at a 5% chance for Blood Moons, too, so, like, the fact that it did that, like, one night, then a break, and then another night, like, is pretty damn incredible. I'd say, what are the odds, but they're apparently pretty good. Odds are one in one in two hundred. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say those are some pretty ridiculous odds, man. Like <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> what does he need now? Why isn't he done? Yeah, this is definitely a different type of build than uh, that other mine. Which is obviously why I can't upgrade it, because the config files for the upgrading are gone now. Because of the new version. The upgrade button is still there, you just can't actually upgrade it. No matter how many times you click it, it won't put in a work order, because the next version or the next schematic doesn't exist anymore. So the builder's just like, well, don't know what to build. Not going to build anything. Yeah, it looks like we may actually get a full four hour stream in today. Which I was not expecting at all. <laughs> Let's try to trellis everything off a bit more. Obviously we're gonna have to fix that eventually. <laughs> and we're gonna need to clear up so much more of this. This is the original room. I'm seeing there's water underneath here, which is why we had originally covered this over. But yeah, we do want this to be our base of operations underneath here. So it is going to require me to clear it out. It's just going to be a very uh, long and arduous task. 
to get all of this shit cleared out. <laughs> And we'll pretty much just live underneath the town. What does he need now? Ladders? Getting ready to assign another worker to that. As soon as he says it's done, we're going to get somebody down there working on it. Zero EXP stored. I don't know how to. I don't know how to make this thing store EXP. Moss is stupid now. I don't like it. <laughs> Moss used to be so much better. Like, and I know that I, I like most of the new Tinker stuff, but like, man, did they ruin Moss to make it take EXP? Like, and it's not just EXP from you either. It's it has to be EXP that it itself earns through the act of mining. <laughs> So, like, how the fuck do you get EXP on a Matok? Nothing that you mine with a Matok gives you EXP. <laughs> like, I've got EXP on my pickaxe and my hammer, you know, because coal gives you, you know, mining coal gives you EXP. And my hammer is copper, so mining anything with my hammer gives me EXP. Because <laughs> it's got, uh, well established on it. So every time you break a block, it gives you EXP equivalents, you know, to the block. But I have no idea how to get it on fucking my Matok. I'm at a loss. I do like the new builder uh, area though. I think this looks much better than the other little builder hut. I mean, which I'm fine with tearing down and rebuilding like 90% of these buildings. The only one that I can't tear down is this mine. Because it goes all the way into the fucking ground. Like, I'd have to tear all of that out. <laughs> so, we're not doing that. I think I can just upgrade the woodcutter. I don't think I have to make a new one of those. At least I'm hoping, man. Because that's going to be a pain in the ass. But at least she's already got like her own little area up there. So if I do have to remake it, it's not like it'll be that difficult. Because her building isn't that large, I could just tear that down pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll get the uh, seven days server shut down. I had completely forgot about that, and yeah, Earl brought up a very valid point. Like, if nobody's using it, then there's no reason not to bring it down. And, uh, no one from my stream is using it. <clears throat> I know that. We had one person log on to the stream at one point and, uh, get into the 7 Days to Die server, and that was because I was feeling generous and didn't have to worry about the- didn't have them worry about the buying your way in. And, of course, they played for about an hour and they never came back, so... Which I figured is what would happen, which is why I didn't bother with the whole key thing. But like I said, that server's coming down now anyway, so. Just no reason in running it if no one's going to be on it. Unfortunately. A very fun game, just not by yourself. And considering that Cog doesn't have it and he's usually the one that plays with me. No reason for it. <laughs> Ah, that's why I had it like that. Okay. That's alright, though. Don't tear it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 